Alright, today we'll be making an effect like this, where we can look through a window, and it looks like we're looking into a room, but if we go back, we can see there's nothing there. And the way we'll be doing that is by using cube maps. So, real quick, what is a cube map? A cube map is a texture that has six textures inside of it, that wrap all the way around a point in space. With a texture like this, you can make a skybox, that is originally what these are used for, traditionally. But you can also use this to make anything that is vaguely cube-shaped. Because every one of these separate textures can map onto a cube, and you can use that for a variety of different things. So what I have here is one of those cube maps, and it's turned inside out and put into a material to create this fake depth that you see. Let's first take a look at how we make a cube map. And for that, I have a separate project file open here. This is my own game. So let's go into a different location for this one. This one, that's the starting room of my game. I think we're going to make a cube map out of this. So how do you do that? Well, you open your content drawer and you don't look at how unorganized mine is. Then you right click and go into textures and you make a cube render target we'll call that a cube render target tutorial you see that turns entirely green and that is because this cube render target needs to be linked to a scene capture so that's why we have the place actors here we have the possibility for a scene capture 2d that's if you just want to capture a camera view you also have a scene capture cube so if we drag that into our level here we can see it places something that looks a little bit like a camera and my performance is real bad because i have two unreal projects open at the same time shouldn't do that this cube capture needs a render target inside it so that's where we put in the cube render target and now whatever this camera sees or whatever is around this camera because we're capturing a cube map is going to be put into this render target and if we save all assets we can indeed see that what was green before is now this cube map it looks a little bit different from what we had a moment ago this is closer to what an hdri should look like generally speaking this is what we will be using going forward except this is a render target which is updating live and that is really not good for your performance so what we'll do instead is we right click and we create a static texture that just makes a copy of whatever the render target look like right now and saves it to a separate texture that we have here and we can open that in windows explorer that gets us the u assets we can simply cut that out open the content folder from our different project and paste that in here and now i can close this project down and looking into this project we can see we now have the texture cube in here so we've made our own cube map, now let's actually put that into a material to make something that can do this. We'll just simply make a new material, and I'll call that a material cube room. And from here, it's actually remarkably simple, because we can just drag in our cube map here as a texture sample, and we're just going to have to manipulate the UVs. And there's a note that simply just does that for you. If you just type in cube, interior cube map, and we put the output into, let's do the emissive color. You can also do the base color if you want. I like the emissive one. And then we can simply put in a value for the tiling. Should be at a 1, generally speaking. And if we apply that, that is basically everything there is to it. So now, if we put in a plane, this is simply just a plane. So I can just put in this plane over here and rotate it around like that. We can scale it a little bit in... The directions that we want to make the plane a little bit bigger and then our cube room material just goes onto that plane and uh, okay so maybe we do need to rotate it as well in this case and there might be a little bit of glitchiness especially here you can see that it looks like it has a floor as because the positioning of our camera is on top of a hill and that kind of depth doesn't really get translated too well into cube maps so it's not a perfect solution for everything but in something that is actually more like a room itself you can see it works quite well now let's copy over this frame here for this mesh and then we can just stretch this out a little bit and we have another picture and picture frame that 
especially from a distance, it doesn't look so bad. It's not great because of the hill getting cubified in this case. And you definitely don't want to be using this for things that people are going to see very close up. It's definitely not meant for that. But for buildings in the background, a very famous implementation of this is uh, Spider-Man PS4. All of the buildings you're running up and you're only seeing through the windows for a couple of frames each and they're very blurry because of motion blur generally. Those are all done with these cube map techniques because players aren't going to stand still and look at them. So they get away with it. And just like that, from a distance, it feels like we suddenly have a couple of rooms we can look into. One last thing about cube maps that I want to note is that they are usually used as skyboxes. So if we look at our skylight, that is the lighting that is generated from the skybox in Unreal, uh, usually that will be on real-time capture and it just uses the environment to generate that skylight. But you can also set this to, as you can see here, the cube map, SSL specified cube map. And there we can uh, put in any cube map that we want, simply any of these cube map textures, which will generally change the lighting in the room quite a bit. You can see because this cube map here, we can actually see that through here, has a little bit of lighting coming from above. Uh, we suddenly have this blue glow coming from above because that is what the cube map looks like. I did like the other one better though. So let's go back to that one. And the most important reason that I'm covering that real quick is if we put in something like a sphere here and we put in a very reflective material that I uh, prepared, you can see that will reflect the level assets like the floor and uh, these assets here. But the sky is displaying the cube map from the skylight. These assets exist nowhere in this world, yet they are there in the reflection. That could be something that you definitely don't want, so do be aware of that, but it's also a very nice, cheap way of creating a skybox that is also caught in your reflections. And this is a very extreme case, usually you wouldn't really see things this clearly in reflections, of course, but that is also another use for cube maps. So you can make these interior rooms with it very, very easily. Uh, do be careful, it doesn't work with everything as well as the first example there, and you can also use it a little bit in your lighting. If you want to play around with this project for whatever reason, uh, see the materials that I've made, and play around with these two cube maps, or whatever, there's a link down below in the description to my Patreon where you can download the project files. It's not the most exciting project file I've ever delivered to you, but it is there for those of you who want it. And a very big thank you to all of my Patreons. You can see them on screen right now. If you want to help out supporting the channel, there's a link down below in the description to the Patreon page. And a special thanks to my Cave Digger tier Patreons, Sergey Thomas and Eleanor.